Greetings students and welcome to unit three, lesson 16, divide by five. All right, so we're gonna continue our study of division. Today we're looking at how to divide by the number five, all right, or how to put things into to five different groups. So here we have uh, two problems for us. It's first it says put 20 circles into five boxes, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna put one in each group and then go back and, 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 uh, and mark them out. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm knock that out. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's do another five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I right, got more left. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We have five left. One, two, three, four, five. Five, all right. So we have four in each box when we get done. Now, how do we write this as a division symbol okay, or a division equation? So we have 20 into five box. What we would do is 20 divided by five equals four. All right. Now, down here is one where it says divide 30 by five. So, how would we write that as an equation? We would do 30 divided by five equals, now we wanna to get to where we're able to do this um, without any help. We just have it stored here, we just know it. Now, if you don't have it stored there, one way to do it is to think the other way. Five times what equals 30? Okay, and so if you don't know what 30 divided by five is, but you know five times something equals 30, whatever that something is can help you. But if you're still struggling and this is difficult for you, you can do what I've done. So I have the number 30 here and I have five circles. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a dot in each one over and over in a, in a, in a pattern until I run out, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, so now I got to 30. I look at how many are in each circle, and there are six in each circle. So 30 divided by five equals six. Now you can also use skip counting to help, all right? And so most of us are pretty proficient with skip counting by five. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my fingers to help keep track I'm gonna put one finger up every time I count by five until I get to 30. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, I have six fingers up and six is my answer. Again, we want to move towards those numbers just being stored in our head and we're able just to think about them and know them. But until we get there, uh, we need to be able to, to solve. All right, so uh, skip counting by counting on your fingers or using circles like this, those are ways that can help you solve until you get there. All right, well, good luck on your assignment. Uh, it was a joy working with you today. I hope you enjoy your afternoon. I can't wait to see you next time. Have a great day, bye.